Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to my channel here. My name's Cam. Today is Saturday, July 19th, 2014, and I'm in Voyagers National Park. I'm camped on the east end of Namakin down here. <clears throat> this video is basically a North Country Fisherman's Tackle Box. Essentially, what kind of baits should you have when you come to Voyagers National Park? Now, what kind of baits will you have in your tackle box? Well, it depends on what you're shooting for. I gravitate toward bass, and so a lot of my... Uh, a lot of my lures uh, will reflect that purpose, but a lot of stuff in here too is for northerns and stuff like that. I happen to gravitate toward bass because I like how they fight first and foremost. I love the fight of the bass. That is so fun. You can have a little bass on there and he'll fight like the dickens. He'll fight like you, you know, you'll think you got a big fish on there. So they're just a lot of fun. Uh, other reasons, they've got fewer bones than some of the other uh, predatory fish. And, um, and they taste great so a little bit of salt pepper and butter and lemon juice yum so anyway back to the basics here um i'll basically zero in here on some of the lures um uh, that i've got on my tackle box what i bring with me every time and then i'll get into the more uh specifics uh with some of the ones i've had some some better luck with so all right these here are good for walleyes um, they dive down, they wiggle back and forth. Um, I tend to gravitate toward the Rapala brand. Um, I've had a lot of uh, success with the Rapala brand. And frankly, in my, my view, Rapala is the best lure in the business. Um, over here, uh, more uh, stuff oriented toward bass fishing. Um, I also have some uh, uh, MEP spinners in here too. And uh, that's good for rivers and stuff like that. And then I've got a couple odds and ends in there, an old bobber I found. I love my tackle box. <laughs> Come to Voyagers National Park. Uh, you really should have at least one lure for muskie fishing because there's a lot of them up here. And that's my uh, that's my musky uh, fishing weapon. Um, it's about seven, eight inches long and dives down. You need a stronger, heavier line uh, for using that, but uh, just bring some along. So and over here is just some uh, repairables things without uh, hooks generally this needs to be repaired um, you know just basically things you could do on a rainy day over here is my countdown um, that's basically called a countdown you cast it out and you count down to like 10 or whatever uh, and it slowly sinks uh, to the depth that you that you want then you just slowly cast it in I've had some luck with that one um, spoons got a bunch of different ones there um, kind of touch on a few just quickly. Uh, this is a shallow, uh, spoon. Or not shallow, but a surface spoon. And it's really, really lightweight. It's like tin. And it's basically stays up on the, uh, surface. And the northerns and stuff, uh, will see it when they're sitting down on the bottom. They'll shoot up and, and go after it. It's a lot of action, a lot of color there. So very popular. I've also got a couple of, uh, Cyclops in here, different sizes and colors. This is a bigger one. Um, got a deep water fishing spoon here. And the reason I call it deep water is because it's three quarter ounce. It's thicker. Um, and what I like about this one too is you can cast it really far. You know, with a lot of spoons, they're smaller, lighter weight. So hey, you cast out reel and cast out reel and. Well, this one you can cast way way out there and uh and it takes you a while to get it back in uh and it goes deep because of the weight so and there's a couple different uh, heavy heavier ones in there so all right rapalas uh every north country fisherman should have some rapalas in there um a couple different finishes and lengths and stuff in there um i've also got a matzow had some luck with this northern seemed to like this had a lot of luck with this one. <clears throat> a lot of luck with this one. Let's see if I can see that sparkle in there. Northerns love this lure. This is deadly for northerns. You cast it out and you reel it back in kind of slowly and it wiggles in like this. And it, it dives a little bit, but not real, real pronounced. But uh, I've had a lot of luck with that. It's a little beat up. I need to get some more. 
but uh, it's definitely a great lure. Over here, we've got some more walleye fishing stuff. These are basically shad wraps. Um, they're good for northern since too. In fact, I've caught bass on here also, So, but primarily um, for walleyes. These things, you cast out, reel them in really fast, and they've got uh, rattling balls inside, and walleyes and uh, stuff like that. I really like the action. A couple different uh, colors and styles and stuff in there. Down here, more stuff oriented toward northern fishing. And then uh, we get into some of the bass stuff. Got my crayfish there. And then the poppers. All different size poppers. Um, one of the most popular ones that I like, more deadly, is the hula popper. Thing's been around since dirt. And uh, just caught a, a nice bass on that one last night. So hula poppers. Poppers in general, but hula poppers are the best. So, and then I have some big poppers and stuff, too. And then down here, just some odds and ends, hooks and treble hooks and whatnot. And I even have some bugs in there. My tackle box is filled with all kinds of stuff. It's <laughs> so basically, uh, let's see, down here, these are all my jig heads and jig bodies. Different colors, styles, weights. Down here is my rubber bodies and stuff. Nice little selection there. Color is important uh, with uh, jig bodies. Um, and here I've got my snaps and swivels. All different kinds in there. And then here I got my flies. I don't do a whole lot of fly fishing, but I can show you what I've got. A couple different uh, styles and colors. Down here, I've got my weights. All different kinds of weights. All different kinds of weights. And hooks, too. There's hooks in there, too. Travel hooks and straight hooks and all that. And then I got some bobbers and stuff and a tape measure for the really big fish. <laughs> um, I also got a whistle. You know, you break down somewhere back in the bay and you want to get someone's attention. You know, it's cheap, lightweight. It'll do the job. So, other than that, this is a little bit more of the gear I carry in here. This is called a hookout. You can get these in a lot of places. And basically, you catch a really big northern, and you don't want to reach into his mouth with all those teeth. And this will do the job for you. Get that hook out. Then I got a knife sharpener. That's always nice. Got some extra fishing line. A stringer. Every tackle box should have a stringer. And then I got my fillet knife, which is a J. Martini Finland ground stainless steel. Easy to sharpen, razor sharp. And I like the wooden handle, so. And then I got a uh, clippers that I wear around my neck, so. But anyway, that's a North Country Fisherman's Tackle Box. And good luck fishing to you. And I hope that you use some of the stuff that's in here because a lot of it's worked for me. So good fishing, everybody.